Adar Poonawala is the CEO of Serum Institute of India. The company is the world's biggest vaccine manufacturer, according to the number of doses being manufactured. Serum Institute of India was founded in 1966 by Adar's father, Cyrus Poonawala. Adar studied at the Bishop's School of Pune and then at St. Edmund's School Canterbury, after which he did his graduation from University of Westminster, London. Adar joined the Serum Institute of India, in 2001 post his graduation. He turned his focus on exporting the company's products to international markets, getting pre-qualified by World Health Organization for pharmaceutical supply to UN agencies like UNICEF. Now, more than 85% of revenue for Serum Institute of India comes from outside India. Poonawala is a board member of the Gavi Alliance, the Global Vaccine Alliance. Adar Poonawala became the CEO of Serum Institute of India, in 2011. He has played a key role in the acquisition of Bill Thoven Biologicals, a government vaccine manufacturing company in the Netherlands. Adar Poonawala also launched the oral polio vaccine for the Serum Institute, which went on to become the best-selling product for the company in 2014. He then increased the product vaccine portfolio for the company with vaccines for cervical cancer, dengue and flu. Adar Poonawala is known to be a man with a keen foresight and is never shy from taking initiatives. In March 2021, Adar was felicitated as the Entrepreneur of the Year by Economic Times, for his unparalleled contribution in fighting COVID-19, by manufacturing Covishield in India and globally, a vaccine, developed by Oxford AstraZeneca, and manufactured in India, by Serum Institute. In India, by the second half of 2020, other companies across the world were investing and securing suppliers in vaccines. Apart from Covaxin developed by Bharat Biotech, no other pharma company in India, was really taking much of an initiative, not even collaborating with any foreign developers. Serum Institute of India, however, had a deal with AstraZeneca not to develop, but manufacture a billion doses for them. Adar however asked for around 10% of, of these vaccines to be given to India, which is no way enough, but still crucial enough to help the country. This was the only deal done by a private Indian company, it was a bet he took, that has helped a lot of people in India. Serum Institute of India took a big risk with the vaccine. Because nobody knew if any vaccine was going to work at such a short notice. They invested $800 million of which, $270 million was raised by the company, and Gates Foundation, and other countries put the rest. 1,000 employees worked on the program, and the company postponed all other product launches for 2020 by another two or three years, so that they could focus on Covishield. The company began exporting to 68 countries, along with supply to India. In a media interview with Times of London, Poonawala stated that he has left India to move to London temporarily because of threats from influential and powerful people from India including business leaders and top politicians, asking them to give them vaccines before anyone else. He was already getting Y security from Indian government. Now, we have to understand that he was in a deal with AstraZeneca and he has to honor that deal of supplying a certain billion number of vaccines because after all AstraZeneca, has developed the vaccine's formula. Indian government should have asked Serum Institute and invested 200 crore for more vaccines for the country, which they didn't do. Poonawala said that he will manufacture Covishield vaccines outside India, apart from the production that his company was doing in India. He said in a tweet that he would be returning to India soon, he also faced controversy over differential pricing of vaccines between the center and the state governments. Initially, one dose of Covishield was priced at 400 rupees for state governments, which he later brought down to 300 rupees. Adar Poonwala has a strong support system in the form of his wife, Natasha. He met Natasha at New Year's party in Goa, hosted by Vijay Malyar. The couple fell in love and married in 2006, they have two sons, Cyrus born in 2009 and Darius, in 2015. 
Born in 1981 to a Punjabi family, Natasha is the executive director of Serum Institute of India, director of Vilu Poonawala Racing and Breeding Private Limited, and leads the Poonawala Charitable Foundation. She is also a fashion enthusiast. Like Adar, Natasha is also known to be quite hard-working and always on the go. She is quoted to have said, I will sleep when I am dead. She says that when she got married, she had no idea about how a biopharma company ran or anything about horse racing. Poonawala is part of one of the world's richest families, which has a $15 billion fortune, a major part coming from the vaccine maker. Adar's father Cyrus Poonawala, the chairman and managing director of Serum Institute of India, has a net worth of $11.5 billion, making him the sixth richest person in India, as on 2020. Apart from Serum Institute of India, the father and son duo own six other companies. They are, Poonawala Finance, a finance company, Bill Thoven Biologicals, a bioengineering and pharmaceutical company, Poonawala Aviation Company, which offers chartered flight services, Vilu Poonawala Greenfield Farm, a leading stud farm, which rears and breeds, prize-winning horses, having won 13 Champion Breeders Awards. To date, Poonawala Clean Energy, which produces renewable sources of energy, and Poonawala Hospitality and Real Estate, a leading real estate company in Pune. Cyrus Poonawala started Serum Institute of India, back in 1966, with a budget of 9 lakh rupees or $12,000 from selling horses, which was their family business, and borrowing the rest in cash, from his father Soli Poonawala. It is estimated that, Serum Institute could rake in $4 billion in revenue, through Covid vaccine deals by 2022, and $1 billion possibly by the year end of 2021. The Puno Waller family also owns real estate worth an estimated $525 million, stud farms, and about 250 acres of property and land in Mumbai and Pune. According to Bloomberg Billionaires Index, in the five months of lockdown in 2020, Cyrus Puna Waller's net worth rose from $7.4 billion to $13.8 billion, with Serum Institute of India partnering with global pharma companies around the world for making COVID-19 vaccine. Did you find this video helpful? If yes, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and press the bell icon for new videos.